Navy, 17. Central Florida, 14. Or UCF. I don't want to offend any of the... Uh, the Knights fan. Not the Golden Knights. I have been corrected on that. Regardless, let's pull up on the screen exactly what we're looking at as far as team stats, and you will find something incredibly impressive from the Navy side of this, and that is that they were able to hold UCF to... I can't get it to pull up past... They, they held UCF to 84 yards rushing in this, and if this ain't the most Gus thing that has ever been Gus by Gus, I don't know what it... Like, they got UCF to turn the ball over two times, one of which resulted in a, a short field goal that led to uh, the deciding field goal for Navy. Uh, both Plumley and Keene played in this one, so, I mean, they were kind of going back and forth here. Uh, it cost UCF at least home field in the AAC championship game, and it might have cost them a shot at the a uh, AAC title. Like, this was, for them, like, Navy had zero passing. Uh, Scotty jumps in. I think this is the type of game that Gus got fired for from Auburn. Uh, yes, that's 100% what this is. Like, UCF now has three losses on the season. They were ranked in the top 20 this week. This is here. It's going to pull up their schedule because you'll see how ridiculous this is. They lost at home to Louisville, and yet they, they beat Georgia Tech a couple weeks later. Of course, that ended uh, Collins' career there. Uh, but they, they whip SMU. They destroyed this Temple team that's actually found a little bit of life here lately, the Cincinnati game notwithstanding. They lose to East Carolina by three touchdowns on the road, and that's because of four turnovers, et cetera. They beat Cincinnati at home. They win at Memphis. They win at Tulane, and then they come back and lose to Navy. And this is not a good Navy team. This is not the kind of Navy team that you're used to seeing. So the fact that they are losing this game at home with a chance to go to the AAC title game, because they really could have wrapped this thing up with this game, but they lose it at home. It's an early game, and, and nobody likes to really play service academies, uh, I, would, I would imagine, from what I've been told anyway. Uh, because they make you work for it. <laughs> they make you work. That's the bottom line. Uh, so you look at what ended up going on in this game, uh, just to play by play. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens here. All right, so so Navy scored on their first drive, and that immediately puts UCF behind the eight ball. Uh, Navy is up 14-6 to six at half. UCF comes out and scores, gets two-point conversion, ties this thing up, and they fumble on their second drive of the second half and give up a field goal to end the game. You had... Punt, 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 turnover on downs after a 37-yard drive. And then Navy ran out the clock when they got the ball back with 5 minutes and 54 seconds. That UCF defense could not get a stop. It was mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Cheers to Navy because, again, they had zero passing yard. And UCF could not stop them at the end of the game. That is, that's called the other team, UCF, being tired. They got whipped at the end of this game. Um, I mean, they, 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 ran, they ran all the clock down. They ran it all out and found a way to get a W. Cheers to them. Cheers to them. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.